you might wonder what the uh, real estate guy is, is doing, doing here, talking about open access publishing. And well, <laughs> it's not obvious, of, of course, but uh, Technopolis is, is not an, a regular real estate company, and uh, I am not a regular real estate guy. So <laughs> maybe that, <laughs> that gives a hint, but, uh, but uh, shortly about what kind of perspective I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to give you. I uh, graduated from, from this university, from the Department of Chemistry in 1996, and started my postgraduate studies soon af after that. Uh, and uh, it looked like I, I was going to have my dissertation sometime in the early, early 2000, but, uh, but business took me, took me away at that point. I started my first company in, in, in 2000, and and in 2003, I, I practically give up uh, uh, finishing my PhD. However, in 2013, uh, my supervisors noticed that I have quite a lot of uh, publications, 25 at that point, and uh, four of them uh, had quite, uh, quite close connection with each other, and no one else had, the, had yet uh, been using those, those publications for for uh, PhD thesis, so, so they kindly asked me to finish what I had started some 15 years ago. And uh, uh, luckily I had already done 10 years ago all the, all the, all the actual research work and, and I only had to do the writing of the, of the actual thesis. And that took me about two years uh, 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 besides, besides working. So, so I only had about one month study leave and, and the other other writing has been done, or was done, done during holidays and so on. Uh, my dissertation was uh, 4th of uh, December last year, so I am quite fresh uh, in, in terms of PhD ship. Uh, uh, my subject was from medicine, actually from pharmacology and toxicology, so you may not see that I am a, I'm not a regular real estate guy. I, I <laughs> Very, very peculiar background concerning that. However, I have uh, now worked about uh, five years for Technopolis as, as business development manager. I, I have responsibilities in sales and renting. But I also have responsibilities in local marketing, and most of our responsibilities are in stakeholder, stakeholder relationships. Relationships with university, uh, university of applied sciences, university hospital, City, business Oulu, and so on. And even the business Oulu collaboration is so deep with, with Technopolis and, and business Oulu that I actually work for business Oulu for, for one day a week or report one day, one day a week. And, and uh, it's in the Oulu health team that I'm, I'm working as a, as a specialist there. So this is, this is my background, and that makes me no uh, experts, non experts in the area of open access publishing. <laughs> Uh, Minna, Minna asked me a couple of months ago if I could, could uh, share my opinions about, about open access. And uh, well, that was two months ago. It was easy to, easy to say that, okay, I'll do it. A <laughs> uh, couple of weeks ago when I started to look into this, this in more detail, I, I noticed that this is quite a complex area and, and uh, rather hard to... to, to to uh, easily find out what kind of opinion I might, I might have, but but I, I managed to managed to uh, extract a couple of couple of opinions that I'm I'm going to share with you you now. Uh, first, I needed to uh, put the theme in the pieces. There's, uh, I, I think there are several several topics topics that could be could be discussed in, in, in more detail. Uh, as I'm not an expert, I will not go in too much into detail because that will be very shallow ideas for, for me. So, so this is a rather sub, sub, superficial <laughs> view, I, I would say. But I, I see that at least these, these uh, uh, four topics there are in these, these subjects. <clears throat> uh, Open access studies, uh, I understand as, as uh, PhD thesis, master's thesis, uh, uh, diploma, well, engineering thesis, and, and uh, diplomas and degree work, 
theses from uh, from uh, universities of applied sciences and and also uh, practical work reports or or, or even lectures or, or scientific presentations that are kept in universities all over the country and, and world all the time. And, and basically all of these uh, could be public. public. Not, many, not, not many of them are public, but quite a lot of them could be public, or there's no reason why, why they should be confidential. Uh, most of these, these uh, at least theses, are uh, I think uh, published in in in, in public domain, domain, but but uh, they are not in the same place. Potentially, I would say that uh, all of these are valuable for the companies when they search for for information. And, and uh, from personal point of view, I have uh, quite many times looked for something related to economy or or marketing, and and. Uh, quite many times end up with, uh, with uh, diploma works from uh, universities of applied sciences. Uh, uh, for some reason, they seem to be quite useful for, 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 for me, at least. And now, the problem is, is though, that there are too many places where, where this information is. Uh, and uh, to really, really uh, put the information together is, is hard, e even if you are looking Looking at the uh, doctoral thesis bank of University of Oulu, you can. It, it's not easy to dig information or, or combine information from there. So, so this is uh, the business pers perspective. Perspective. Uh, uh, <coughs> small companies or even larger companies would would need uh, some kind of a portal where where this information is or uh, links to this information are are gathered, and, and in the best case, there, there should be a search engine or some kind of data analytical tools that, that everyone could use. And, and uh, in that way, this, this would, uh, I think, create value for the, for the companies. Maybe obvious, but uh, that's my finding. <laughs> now, uh, for the actual topic, open access scientific pub publishing, several, several uh, different categories there as well. Uh, the, the actual open access uh, scientific publications, which uh, still is, is uh, quite a minority of all, uh, all the scientific publications. Then I've uh, learned in this couple of weeks that about 70% of, of uh, uh, journals that, uh, that uh, publish scientific results and, and, and the well publications, they, they allow uh, parallel publishing in, in uh, open access form, which is, uh, I think, amazing. I didn't look into it in, in more detail, but uh, I, would, I would guess that uh, there's certain lag time before you can, you can publish uh, parallelly, but, uh, but uh, I don't really, really know that. But, uh, well, it would be great if 70% of all, all, uh, all uh, information, scientific information that is available in the, in the in the uh, closed internet would be would be some at some point uh, available to to all that uh, needs that, in, that information. Then uh, that uh, third palette is actually something that I learned from Minna a couple of well, half a year ago when we when we when we met and, and uh, learned that uh, in at least in in Oulu University everybody who, who works in the in the university library. Can, can access all the information that is available for, the, for this university library. And the same applies to all universities. Yeah, that I, that I guess. And, and that's, uh, that's something that companies do not know. I have uh, been able to tell that uh, <laughs> since that uh, to some companies, but, uh, but, uh, but that, should be, should be, uh, that information should be, should be more wide. Then, uh, at least in some, some companies where, where there's a certain scientific ambiguity, there are uh, graduates, postgraduate post students, and, and students that have access to the, 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 uh, the university. And, and that is something that uh, quite many companies use to get, uh, get access to, to scientific publication. And, and uh, that's, uh, well, Really, really good when 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 you have uh, people in the company that uh, can access and, and understand what they are <laughs> what they are getting as well. So I, I do not see in this uh, this uh, open pub publishing that that uh, that actually the 
getting, getting the access to, to scientific information would be the problem or issue, but, but rather get the, get the assignments and other companies to access, to, to be interested in accessing and to find time to, to look in the scientific world, uh, world of information and, and uh, find something that, uh, that is useful for their business. Uh, I'm quite certain that this, uh, this interest uh, will not come from the companies, but, but the society or universities should, should have an initiative or, or, or should, should tell the, somehow to the companies that, that the information is available. I, I don't know how to do it, but, uh, but well, you are the scientists, figure it out. Uh, open research data. Was it supplemental data related to, to articles or, or the whole raw, raw data related to scientific articles, uh, open access or, or, or not open, or research data in, in, in general? There, there might be some hype concerning this. Uh, uh, I, as, a, as a business person, I, well, I only see problems in <laughs> in this, and, and the issue number one is, is data quality. If, if I had a, well, I had businesses, but <laughs> if, I, if I had a, had a business that, that were interested in something open, raw data, to, uh, or, or the whole research data from certain, certain uh, university origin that no one has, has uh, quality controlled, I would not want that data, uh, because, uh, well, there's, there's no one to tell that uh, the data, is, data quality is good. I, I give an e example from pharmaceutical industry. Uh, if uh, a pharmaceutical company conducts a clinical trial that takes uh, about a year to perform, for example, when all the data is collected, there's at least two persons that, uh, that spend a couple of months just to checking the data and, and uh, going through and, and cross-checking checking that each data, data point is correct. And uh, I'm quite certain that universities will not, uh, not put up that kind of function. But uh, quality assurance is needed if, if this, uh, this open data is, is, is wanted to seem as, as valuable for companies. Another issue is, is uh, IPR, intellectual property, property rights. Uh, uh, again, if I, if I had a company that, that uh, uh, has, uh, has that kind of invention that is based on, on uh, public raw data or research data, then it is likely that that business would, uh, would suffer from, uh, from uh, certain difficulties within, within time. So, so rather, rather limited openness to, to only the, that kind of uh, companies that are interested to, to get access that that kind of uh, research data or raw data, and, and then complete transparency in the collaboration related to that. That would be, that would be my guidance in, in this topic. Finally, uh, open innovation. And th this is something that uh, kind of gets me excited. This, this is uh, the way, way to go, I, I think. Uh, also, this topic has uh, several difficult subtopics. Uh, it's the corporate data, which will never be totally open, but there are quite a lot of es uh, examples about corporate data that, that are open. Uh, personal experiences is from uh, Nokia, some five, six year years ago, when Nokia started to lay off people all around the world. They uh, created together with Technopolis actually uh, open innovation platform called Innovation Mill, and uh, they opened uh, uh, well, not completely, but to, to, through Technopolis they opened the uh, internal idea banks, banks to the to the new companies to be established through uh, uh, from the from the uh, Nokia through Nokia Bridge 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 program and uh, at that point uh, it, it, it was really really good good example how, how internal company data could be openly 
used for for the for the companies for the companies to be started startup companies. Uh, my data, uh, I will not go to that in detail. That's quite quite hype at the moment. A lot of lot of data coming from different gadgets that that we carry around and so on, and other other types of big data that come from from any sources, uh, not structured data, uh, very heterogeneous data, but uh, but combining these and and combining the kind of data that uh, that we can create here in universities, that could be something that really really uh, um, gives a good uh, return on on investment, and. Uh, I think that is the, the opportunity for the universities to, to collaborate with small to medium-sized companies, even larger companies, and, and combine the research that we are doing in the universities, combine it with uh, some uh, partly proprietary data that is openly discussed in the, in the collaboration in an open innovation alliance with, uh, with, uh, with the university, with the corporate, with, uh, with uh, SMEs, and, and that. That could be something that really, really creates value for for our society and and hopefully for all of Finland as as well. So basically, that was my my thoughts on on this topic, and uh, I, I hope there was some sense to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so, are there any questions? In the audience or online. What is my paid question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mentioned that um, we should probably simplify the tray how we offer the scientific information mm. that uh, small and medium-sized enterprises and, and uh, the business side, I, I totally agree, agree being on that side <laughs> too, that uh, there is not enough sort of um, respect to, to scientific research and, and usage mm. of it. Uh, and uh, there is maybe also the lack of uh, knowledge because it's difficult to keep up <laughs> mm. with all all what is offered there is one question uh, from Krishna Frauman uh, she asked are the other technopolis officials in Finland involved in similar activities not not really this kind of similar <laughs> activities no most of the uh, technopolis uh, cities where, where we locate, we have close collaboration with uh, universities and, and uh, city <coughs> municipalities and, and so on, but uh, well, no open access experts there either. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that uh, when we are opening more and more, it could reach also the business side <laughs> yes of course and, mm -hmm. and uh, technopolis might be might, might be quite a good partner there because we have uh, quite a lot of companies in in, in the uh, biggest university cities in, in Finland so so through us uh, you could uh, reach quite a lot of companies and, and pilot something for example Oh, mm, there is one question. Uh, she also wants to know if the other offices are involved uh, in open innovations. Uh, this open innovation uh, project, innovation mill that we have, we, we actually uh, give it away to Spinverse, a small uh, consulting company in Helsinki area that, that at the moment uh, holds it. And, uh, uh, in that uh, uh, innovation mill, there's uh, not only Nokia at the moment, but some 10 other big companies that have disclosed their, their internal idea banks to, to uh, companies to exploit. But uh, Technopolis at the moment is not, not uh, doing that project anymore. 